In this tutorial, I'll show you how to design a hypercar poster in Photoshop. You can download the images in the description down below to follow along. Press Ctrl N to create a new document with these settings. Add a solid color adjustment layer. Pick a light blue. Select the rectangle tool and follow the process. Place it like so. Hold Alt and drag to duplicate the shape. Change its color to red. Select both shapes, right-click and choose Convert to Smart Object. Hold Alt and drag to duplicate the new shape. Press Ctrl T and adjust the shape like so. Select both layers, right-click and convert to Smart Object. Add a new layer. Press B, right-click and select a soft round brush. Set the foreground color to a dark blue. Click once, press Ctrl T, and adjust the shape like so. Right-click and convert to Smart Object. Go to Filter, Blur and choose Gaussian Blur. Reduce the opacity. Next, bring the car to your main project. Right-click and convert to Smart Object. Press Ctrl-T and adjust the image accordingly. Go to Filter and choose Camera Raw Filter. Follow these settings. Create a new layer. Press P and draw the shadow of the car. Right click and choose Make Selection. Choose the bucket tool and fill the selection with a dark blue. Press Ctrl D to deselect. Right click and convert to Smart Object. Go to Filter, Blur and choose Gaussian Blur. Add a layer mask. Press B and choose a soft round brush. Reduce the flow and softer the shadow edges. Reduce the opacity. Create a new layer. Press B, right-click and choose a soft round brush. Set the foreground color to white and the flow to about 15 and follow the process. Right-click and choose Blending Options. Hold Alt to split the transition and follow the process.
Select the type tool and type your text. I am using Morganite. Download link in the description down below. Press Ctrl T and adjust the text size. Add a layer mask. Select the gradient tool and follow the process. Type your second text and follow the process. Right click and choose blending options. Add a drop shadow and follow these settings. To finish, add a new layer. Choose a soft round brush and set the foreground color to a dark blue. Reduce the flow and click once near the car tires like so. That's it I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Also, check out other videos on my channel. Thank you for your support.